practice was practicing emotionally in the same kind of environment that he was on when he was on the course. It's hard to do. Yeah, it is. But he could do it. And I've been around him and I've watched him practice when he did it and it's it's borderline eerie. Yeah. How much time he would take between shots and where he would go over mentally and how he dealt with what happened or didn't happen while he was hitting balls. I asked him about focus. I said, you, you, you say that you get really focused or people have said you're focused or you concentrate. He says, I don't focus. I don't concentrate. I said, well, okay, so what do you call it? He says, I don't get distracted. And I go, well, that's the same thing. And he goes, no, it isn't. He says, if you're trying to force yourself to focus or concentrate, th then you're trying to make yourself do something. I just don't get distracted with what's around me. Oh, okay. He, yes, yeah, very, very locked in, and he's just on that task, and that's Just it. the task. He's been on the golf course hitting shots, and a car wreck happened. And they walk into the next tee, and, they'll, and they'll, they'll ask him, well, Jack, you know, why didn't you stop? You were just hitting a putt. Didn't you hear that? And he didn't even hear it. Right. Tunnel so, vision. Well, no, yeah. it's, it's, it's not distracting.